As the pubs reopen, top tips to keep you safe by Street Safe Thinking. This Saturday, 4th of July 2020, pubs will reopen across England. In Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland, this event will take place in the next few weeks. Alongside this much welcome news, there's an appeal for calm celebration as police forces across England announce they will deploy additional patrols. It sounds like the authorities do not have much confidence that everybody will follow the social distancing guidelines and that there is a high probability of some problems. So, is there a risk? Judging by what's happened over the last few weeks, they're right to be concerned. It's not only that there have been numbers of illegal gatherings, parties, raves and a general breakdown of social distancing at places like beaches. It's the amount of violence, including murders. So... What could happen? First of all, if you're going out, England is a safe place and the vast majority of people will have a great time, no problems, and return home safely at the end of the day. Anybody having a drink inside a pub or a bar has to be sat and served at a table. The risk of breaking social distancing rules should be minimised by the design of the pub or restaurant. That also means that any friction points when you accidentally bump into somebody or vice versa should be removed and with it the risk of an angry or aggressive response. So what's the worst case? The worst case will be where a pub does not control the people within it. It allows a group to become progressively loud, uncontrolled and aggressive. At that stage it will be likely that the aggressors are inebriated and no longer care about the controls nor do they want to be calmed down. Perhaps this is their first drink since lockdown and they've misjudged their own limits and for any of a thousand or more reasons become aggressive. This may transition into a fist fight or wrestle but could include glasses, bottles or if they're carrying one, a knife. Remember that experts are concerned about the general mental health of everybody as we come out of lockdown. The behaviour of some will, in some part, be governed by their general health and they may respond badly to what otherwise appears an innocuous event. Keeping safe. Here's a few things you can do to help you stay safe. Number one, plan your day or night out. The government has encouraged pubs to require people to book a table so they can better manage themselves. Decide where you want to go and ring them. Book your table for the time you want. Number two, recognise that things are still different. When you get there, it's important that you recognise that we will not be back in the pre-virus days. If you see friends across the bar, you cannot go and join them. Wave and nod, but understand that there are still constraints on the number of households which can meet up. In all other respects, social distancing rules continue. Number three, know your limits. You may have been having a few drinks at home, but in a more limited manner. If so, recognise that you're no longer accustomed to drinking as much alcohol. Just because you're out for the night doesn't mean you have to drink all night. Stop when you reach your limit. Number four. Make sure one of your group is sober. If you're drinking, make sure that at least one of your group is sober and will look out for you. This obviously includes driving home, if that's how you will be travelling. Number five, plan how you will get there and back. Public transport and taxi availability is far more limited. Plan how you'll be getting in and out of town or wherever you're going. Number six, remember you've gone for a good night out. Don't get into a shouting match. If something does happen within your group or between tables, don't let yourselves get pulled into an altercation or any conflict. Sit yourselves down, take a deep breath, calm down and if necessary decide that this is the time to leave. Number seven, if it looks like there will be any trouble, leave and and go home. You can always have another beer or glass of wine when you get home. Number eight, don't carry a knife or any other weapon. It may seem obvious, it is after all illegal, but don't carry a knife. Number nine, call the police. In the worst case scenario, you may feel threatened 
and in danger, with no means of getting away. If so, call the police and let them do their job. And of course, your fail-safe method. There is one guaranteed way to avoid any trouble. Don't go out. If you are at all worried about what could happen, then stay at home and have an extra glass of wine. I do hope that this short film has been of use to you. Please subscribe below to follow our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whichever you want. And please give us a comment. Tell us, is there anything else that you would like to know about that you'd like us to give advice on? But above all, please follow us and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Keep safe. Bye bye.